Hello Pisces. So last video I did, you were getting out of, I think like an abusive controlling situation and, or just like a stagnant toxic situation. It was just something that was no longer serving you and you were getting out of that energy and you had this new sense of, of freedom and confidence and, and just happiness coming your way. So let's see where you guys are at now. Let me see. Okay, so for my the people that are viewing this video, let's see. Pisces need to know right now about their love lives. What's going on with that? Is there anybody coming towards you? I might have some like new energy coming towards you now that you let go of that dead situation. You probably have new love coming in. Let the karmic go. All right. Queen of Wands. Ace of Wands. Okay, that's good. That's passionate energy. Might be a fire sign around you. Yeah, Knight of Wands. So there's a lot of Wands energy. So like passion, power, confidence, courage, fire energy. There, there might be a fire sign around you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, could be. Not for all of you, but for some of you. I got some major arcana cards here too, so this is really good. More fire energy. So yeah, a lot of passion. I think there was explosive fights or explosive energy with this karmic situation that you were in, whatever it was, or it was just like not just weighing you down. It was just a heavy burden and that's completed now and you're moving past that. You have a new start. You do have a new start, I think, with love. Um, yeah, see, you're letting go of that energy, so it's really good. You know, this Queen of Wands is you. That's an energy you're coming into because you're, you let go of that dead weight that we had over here. So it's like you're coming into your power again, finally. Um, it's like the Queen of Wands is, you know, energetic and charismatic and she has so much courage and confidence. And it's like this new, you know, male or female, however it plays for you. But it's, it's like you have this new energy, this new um, passion that's finally coming in. And... You have this Ace of Wands over here that's that's noticing this energy. You know, he's like he's noticing you. He's noticing your new energy. He's noticing that things look that you feel lighter. That your energy feels lighter. It feels different to him. Um, he's just he's really taking notice of you right now. I feel, and you know, you're inspiring others right now with your success story, with what you're doing, whatever it is. There's just something that you're saying you're doing that is really inspiring the people around you. And it's really drawing in the right person, I think. So either you or the secret admirer person that's kind of just like, oh, I don't even know if you'd call them a secret admirer. It's just, I mean, maybe it's somebody that's noticing your energy more than they were before. Um... It's somebody that that is definitely being inspired by you right now. Maybe you just got out of like a relationship or something and then or you just got out of a situation that you were in and this person is noticing that you're more emotionally available lately. But either you or this person um, has a tendency to move kind of fast, I think, and kind of give in to your passion and just move move quickly. Um, but this time around, and again, this is, it's either you or them, however, however it resonates with you. But this time around, I think that you're with the moon, you know, your intuition, you're looking at the world and you're looking at the things that, you know, ended too quickly, like the, the karmic situations and what, and whatnot. You're using your intuition this time around. You're, um, you're trying to find a balance. You're trying to be logical. You're trying to open yourself up to love, but at the same time, you're trying not to move too fast with anybody. And again, this is either you or your person, however it resonates. But um, but yeah, with the moon here, it's like, look at her. She's looking at the moon or she's looking at the world. So she's looking at something that, you know, it's like she achieved a goal. Like she learned something in her life. Like she learned some important lessons and she moved on from that energy. Like there's this sense of 
completion, but there's also like some fear in the background too, where she's like, well, I don't ever want to go back to that. I don't want a relationship that starts really quickly and there's no friendship and we don't know each other well. And then, you know, it all just it crashes and burns because it's just lust and it's just temporary passion. It's just like, you know, a few months, few months or few weeks long. It's like, it's nothing, you know what I mean? Like she's trying to make sure she doesn't go back to the energy again and next relationship she gets into she wants to be more um, grounded and stable and, and take things slow and really be friends first and and just develop um, a just love in a more natural way than she has in the past. And with the Ten of Wands here too, yeah, it's like that, that energy was like a burden to you, that karmic energy or whatever it was that you were in. Um, you know, like the heartbreak, the loneliness, the the bad relationships, all of it. It was just such a heavy burden for you. And with the fool here, it's like you're you're letting that burden go now and you're using your intuition more. And you have this fresh start in love and you're kind of painting a picture of what you want your life to look like now is is how I take that. So there is somebody around you that's that's noticing you though for sure is is the energy that I'm getting right now. But I think you did just come out of something. I think that you're still not fully over someone or you're not fully over a situation or you haven't fully healed from something. There's just like this energy where you're still kind of still letting go of like a karmic situation or still letting go of something and you're just wanting to make sure that you do it right next time around and you you're more careful and you're more stable and that you take it slow. But um but again, I think love is ready for you if you're ready for it. It's it's just, a, it's, I think it's up to you mostly. But let's see what the cards say. So can you tell me about this this person that's being inspired by the viewers? What are, what's going on with them? Are they going to come forward? What are they going to do? What is the person that's interested in you about to do towards you? So let's see. I want to read your person's energy, not your energy. Let's read your person's energy. What's going on with that? Summon, High Priestess of Earth, Strength, Success, okay, this looks good, The Fledgling, Hope, The Moon, and Denial. I almost think they're more confident in this connection than you are because I keep wanting to read the denial card and the seven card together. And I'm like, I'm looking at it. Like, what is it trying to tell me? Because it's like one person is like, like, see how they're both reaching? You see how like both these energies, it's like you and them. And it's like one person's like actually like they're reaching, but like she's more like this person, the seven card is like more confident. They're just like, it's there's light coming out of their hand where this person is like not quite like he's like reaching for the grapes, but he doesn't quite have it. So it's like, like both people are reaching out and like wanting to talk and wanting to like get to know each other or be close or rekindle something. But like one person is actually like summoning this connection and summoning this, summoning this relationship. And one person is like almost like in denial, almost like not like quite sabotaging it, but like wondering if it's out of reach, wondering if it could happen. Hmm. Maybe you've got a lot of like insecurities too because of what you've been through and what the karmic put you through that it's almost like you try to like reach for love, you know, reach for the grapes or whatever. And it's like you question if you could really have something that good. You question it, you know what I mean? Like if someone's like admiring you or asking you out or like kind of noticing you. It's almost like maybe you notice them noticing you, but you're like in denial about it. You're like, what, do they really notice me? Do they really like me? Like, why would they like me? Or like, like, is it real? Is this telepathic connection I'm feeling with this person real? Um, is this connection real? Like, is this person really noticing me the way I think they are? But you're, you're trying to summon that like 
stability and strength and you're trying to ground yourself and just be in the present moment more and not like get lost in your head and not be um you know just like trapped kind of basically is what this is saying just not be like trapped in that energy anymore that you were in before But I think your person is trying to be strong and stable for you too. And with the fledgling here, and then we have hope in the moon. It's like they're they're looking forward and they're um and they might they might be aware of your insecurities, but they're still looking forward. They still have hope and they're still trying to use their intuition. It's just this energy of somebody trying to be either you or your person. It's just this energy of somebody that just got out of a, a situation or is just now healing from past heartache and pain and going to this new phase of their life. And their, you know, their hope lies in their intuition. Their hope lies in that high priestess of earth energy that we saw where it's like their, their hope lies in, um, you know, that they're, they're hopeful and they're open to love, but they're also like, they really want to be safe and make sure they don't do, they don't mess up and they don't do what they did before. They don't want to get stuck in a situation like that again. So, um, so yeah, this person is like hopeful, but they're, they're using their intuition more. They're realizing that they need more soul based, um, connections and that they need to take it slower with people and really get to know people on a deep level before jumping into a relationship with them. Let's pull some more cards, though, for clarification on um, your person, though, on this person that's, like, kind of noticing you. Like, they know I think there's, like, an awareness, you know what I mean? Like, if they're, if you just got out of something, I think they know that they can't come to you right away. They know that, that you might not be ready or they feel like you're not ready unless it's the, unless the roles are reversed, however that works out for you. But someone feels like somebody else is not quite there yet and quite ready but they're they're trying to be intuitive and hold out hope and they do they do want to take it someone wants to just take it slow and just kind of see what happens so let's let's get some clarification so tell me about your person tell me more about your person chaos Message, choices, honesty, okay, letting go. Hmm. Okay, so I think there's probably two different groups because well, usually when I get confused like this, it means I'm reading two different groups. So it's like, that's why I keep going back and forth. Um, so I must be reading two different groups of, of people here. So for some of you, if you let someone go, um, so this is, this is group one. If you let somebody go and you like chose a karmic over them or you chose just to not open your heart to them or you just didn't really give them a chance and now you're regretting it and wishing that you did. It's saying that, you know, you want to come in with a message and you want to, it's up to you. It's your choice. You want to come in with that message and um, be honest with them about what you were going through and why you did what you did and said what you said and what you were letting go of and going through in your life. You know, your life was chaotic before. So it's like you, you know, they, they you know, give them that clarity for others of you, for the other group, if it's your person that is in that energy where they just went through something um, and they're the ones that are, you know, they're noticing you, but they're also wanting to take it slow and stuff because they just got out of something. Um, but they are like noticing you and interested in you and attracted to you, but they just want to be careful and they're a little bit guarded and damaged and scared of getting hurt right now. But um, they're making that decision to come to you with a message about why their life was chaotic and, and to be honest and open with you and let them let you know that they're healing from something right now that they haven't fully let go of, but they're starting to let go of it now and they're starting to heal from it, but they're still very damaged and they've got a lot of trust issues that they need to work through. So someone needs to send a message. You'll know if it's you or if it's them. Um, 
someone there needs to be some communication between you guys finally i think one way or another even if it's just for closure um but again the choice is yours it's up to you to decide what's best for you so thank you guys for watching please subscribe if this resonates